Hey, friends, can you hear the bird behind me? There's actually more than one. They got a little quiet here. It's Ken Owen from the Isolation Station on probation. I'm actually beginning this week's show on my deck in the sunshine. Um, it's been a nice couple of days, and uh, it's feeling like June. Heat, humidity, a little bit of cool at night, but it's all good. And hope you're getting through these difficult times. There's a lot going on and uh, almost too much to digest at times. But that's why I pop up. Uh, when I do, <laughs> with these little uh, musical valentines that I send. And this week, we're going to start with something the postman delivered just the other day. There's nothing more fun than walking to your mailbox and seeing more than coupons for oil changes and uh, invitations to go to investment dinners, which, it, you know, the last thing I want to get into is a squeeze these days. But there was a CD, brand new, from Sondra Lurke. You can buy his uh, new uh, CD as a Japanese import. And it's a great record called Patience. And we'll start the show off today with, from Norway, Sondra Lurke. That's all there is, a stream of captures, that look you wore, the sunset backwards, your lips and mine, our faces backlit. Very 
sure no one else could love you more than the greatest love the world has known. This is the love that I give to you alone. More than the symbol words I try to say, I only live to love you more each day. More than you'll ever know, my arms got to hold you so my life. We'll be in your keeping, waking, sleeping, laughing, weeping Longer than always is a long, long, long time But far beyond forever, you'll be mine I know I never lived before And my heart is very sure no one else Well, that was one wacky first set on the isolation station number four, uh, on probation, that is. Uh, we, I'm going to start where we, be, uh, where we began. We started the fun out with That's All There Is from the new album Patience by Sondra Lurke, which is literally just out this week. After that was the great Bobby Darren with more, and we wound up our first set there with the Andrea True connection, more, more, more. And there's a story behind that. There's actually a number of stories behind that. But that song uh, hit the charts in February of 1976. And it was during that month that my family and I were driving down, as we did every year, to Florida for our annual uh, spring vacation. And I remember my thing back then, I was 15, 
was I would put the pillow over my AM radio and play it, you know, so that it would play through the pillow, but I could go to sleep with music on. And I remember, I think it was a station from Nashville, Tennessee that I was tuned into. And it was, it was pretty distant. We were probably somewhere in Georgia. And I heard this song for the first time. And it sounded so strange because you've got a whispery woman saying, how do you like your love? And, you know, for, when you're 15, you're thinking, what the heck's going on there? Well, it turns out, I didn't find this out until rather later, that that was Andrea True, who was a porno star and recorded that record kind of as a one-off. And that became a big hit, big disco hit, big early disco hit. But um, So as a 15-year-old boy, I first heard that through my speaker and uh, was a bit tantalized by it. She wasn't asking, how do you like your burger, you know, medium. It was, how do you like your love? And at 15, that's a little hard to digest, even at uh, 12 o'clock at night with an AM radio crackling in your ear. It's Ken Owen playing your songs as we get through this crazy period of, uh, well, there's lots going on. And I, I just, again, urge you to be good to each other. And, you know, when you're not um, being good to each other and doing the things you need to do in your life, you might be like Ben Queller. Uh, he had a song from his first record called Sha Sha, which kind of sums it up. He is wasted and he is ready. Yeah. 
know, times like these, you got to keep your sense of humor. I guess that's why somebody stole one of my songs and wrote some clever contemporary lyrics to it. Copyright's a bitch, so I'm stealing it back. New lyrics and all. It goes a little something like this. Thank you, Todd. Todd Rundgren from a recent performance for the Metropolitan Museum of Art from his home in Hawaii, covering one of his, um, actually his most covered song, his most played song these days because it's played at football stadiums. Well, when when we used to have games, it was. (laughs) Bang on the drum all day, but uh, revised with COVID lyrics. And uh, you got to give the guys credit for having a sense of humor in these tough times. We're all trying to do that. Before that, we heard from Bijou Phillips, who's the daughter of Mamas and the Papas frontman John Phillips. My buddy Prairie Prince, who plays with Todd Rundgren on drums on that one. The song's called Hawaii, which is where Todd Rundgren recorded the song we heard before that, by the way. And the set began with Ben Queller. He is wasted and he is ready. And I know regardless of our... Social habits, we're all ready for something different. In fact, in the next uh, moment here, let's close our eyes. And I'm doing it in my basement in Avon, Indiana. I'm now inside, away from the birds. And imagine that we're, we're at an outdoor venue. And there's a beer line. And there are no strips of tape separating people by six feet on the ground. And the sky is clear. The night is breezy. And we're here to see earth, wind, and fire. Keep those eyes closed, folks. This is a good, good moment. And right now, if you keep your eyes closed, I'm going to play a live version of September. And we can hope that by July we're doing this. I don't think it's going to happen. But some September soon, some month soon, we'll be out sipping a cold beer on a nice warm night enjoying live music.
Ellison could certainly write a great power pop song. Frontman of Material Issue from the posthumous release, because Jim, who I knew and was a great guy, uh, died uh, back in the 90s. But uh, that's Material Issue's Telecommando Americano record. And you were beautiful until things got ugly. And we've all been through that, haven't we? Before that, time won't let me. The Outsiders, uh, and time won't let us do much of anything except watch the clock sometimes. But... Hopefully our lives are uh, slowly returning to some normalcy. And we began the set with Earth, Wind, and Fire live doing September and imagining nights on summer lawns with people around us and no restraints. Imagine away. Oh, the day's coming again. Ken Owen from his basement in Avon, Indiana, delivering the isolation station on probation number four. We're into June now, and this whole thing began in April when Chris Newton from WGRE, where I was station manager once upon a long time ago as a student at DePaul University, called and said, uh, actually emailed and said, we need programming because the students are all gone for the semester. Would you be willing to give us one? And I gave them six, and it's been so much fun now I've done four more. So this is great to be around, and uh, this has been a lot of fun, and I continue to have it. I hope you're getting some fun on the user end. And we continue today's show with Chardet. It's never as good as the first time, is it?
That is Shuggy Otis with Inspiration Information. And have to admit to you guys that I got turned on on that song from a Starbucks CD. I am a sucker for those compilation CDs they used to sell at Starbucks. I actually enjoyed going to the store and looking at the CDs more than I did the coffee because I, I will drink Starbucks coffee and I usually wind up getting something too sweet. But I find their regular coffee to be a bit bitter. But I loved their CDs. And... um and their ability to kind of bring to your attention music that has been around but you kind of missed, flew by you. That song sounds like it could have been recorded pretty recently. It's got a, it's got a retro vibe, but it sounds pretty today. But that it was actually from 1974, which was very surprising to me when I looked it up. And Shuggy Otis is the uh, composer of Strawberry Letter 23, which was a big hit by the Brothers Johnson back in the day. And before that, we heard from Chardet with... Never as good as the first time. We're going to do some doot doot doing right now, starting with uh, a trip to Tom's Diner for some coffee, a courtesy of Suzanne Vega. I am sitting in the morning at the diner on the corner. I am waiting at the counter for the man to pour the coffee. And he fills it only halfway. And before I even argue, he is looking out the window at somebody coming in. It is always nice to see you, says the man behind the counter To the woman who has come in, she is shaking her umbrella And I look the other way as they are kissing their hellos And I'm pretending not to see them, and instead I pour the milk I open up the paper, there's a story of an actor Who had died while he was drinking, it was no one I had heard of And I'm turning to the horoscope and looking for the funnies When I'm feeling someone watching me and so I raise my head There's a woman on the outside looking inside, does she see me? No, she does not really see me cause she sees her own reflection And I'm trying not to 
to notice that she's hitching up her skirt and while she's straightening her stockings her hair has gotten wet Oh, this rain, it will continue through the morning as I'm listening to the bells of the cathedral. I am thinking of your voice and of the midnight picnic once upon a time before the rain began. And I finish up my coffee and it's time to catch the train.
three songs in a row that have the do-do-do thing going. That's Todd Rundgren from his a cappella record. Every sound on that song is him, his voice, or his voice through a sampling device circa 1983. That's something to fall back on. Before that, we heard from a one-hit wonder from 1996, The Primitive Radio Gods. And that song's called Standing Outside a Broken Phone Booth with Money in My Hand. I think that might be a little dated 24 years later, but uh, it fit into the do-do-do thing, and it probably jogs a memory you might have. And before that, it's uh, Suzanne Vega with the original version of Tom's Diner. You probably have heard the song that's got the embellishments and kind of the hip-hop thing going on, but that's the song as it appeared. First song, first track on her Solitude Standing CD. This is Ken Owen. The isolation station is still on probation, still in my basement in Avon, Indiana, and summer is here. We're still in our houses most of the time. Restaurants are open, but a lot of people are taking it slow, getting back to things, and that's probably a wise thing. But when you get out and you keep your distance and you do the right thing and have your mask on and all that stuff, just don't forget to bring your jukebox money!
The Strokes from their new The New Abnormal CD the song is called The Adults Are Talking and Everybody's Talking Probably to themselves I'm talking to my cat I don't know what you're talking to But yeah, if you find somebody to talk to You just do it Because it doesn't happen all that often Before that we had The Love Shack From the B-52's Fred Schneider Going all ballistic With that jukebox money I just love to do that And I also love to do these shows, and I want to thank you for enduring another isolation station on probation. This is uh, show number four since uh, the WGRE thing stopped, and show number 10 overall. 
As we talked about earlier in the program, it's it would be nice to have a getaway. And I suppose you can get in the car. You could get on a plane. A lot of people are averse to that still. But how about a vacation in your mind? So uh, we're going to uh, end with a jazz classic here, Desafinado by Stan Getz and Charlie Bird. Close your eyes. Imagine you're on a beach. Imagine there are seagulls and nice cocktails and friends all around. And friends, we'll be back around very soon, but I hope you have a great day, and thanks for checking in one more time. Mm-hmm.